Jackie Chan, a name that has become synonymous with martial arts, slapstick humor, and breathtaking stunts, remains one of the most recognizable figures in international cinema. But despite his astounding professional achievements, Jackie's personal life hasn't always mirrored his on-screen success. Many fans were taken aback when news surfaced about his estranged relationship with his daughter, Etta Ng Chuk Lam. Join us as Facts First presents Jackie Chan Disowned His Daughter, This Is The Sad Truth Why. This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that delivers boxes of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Every month, they introduce members to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, even live oysters, based on a preference quiz that you fill out. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, and it only costs you a fraction of the value. You can even preview your box before it's shipped. Each month, you'll get a box of awesome assigned to you, at which point you can decide if you'd like to one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box, or three, skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. The first box I received was the Destination Box, which comes with the Garment Duffel from Half Day. It's my go-to travel bag because it can fit a suit, dress shirts, and shoes, plus some casual clothes, neatly and compactly. My second box was the Swivel Box, which comes with the Revolve Tray and a Tigerwood Rollerball Pen. The moment I received this box, I was able to declutter my desk by neatly organizing cables, pens, and other items. And the Tigerwood Rollerball Pen was a fun addition that feels really nice to write with and looks super elegant. Both of these boxes of awesome were truly a great value and now I use these items all the time. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter FAXVERSE20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash FAXVERSE20. Jackie's Estranged Daughter at a time when the phrase Nepo Babies has been vigorously making the rounds on social media, Etta Nchuk Lam, the 23-year-old daughter of Jackie Chan, presents a stark contrast to the glamour and success typically associated with celebrity kids. Born November 19, 1999, as a result of Chan's extramarital affair with the 1990 Miss Asia winner Elaine Nyi Le, Etta's life has been anything but straightforward or privileged. When news broke of Jackie's affair with Elaine, a beauty queen 19 years his junior, it sparked a massive scandal. After publicly acknowledging the affair and apologizing to his wife, Taiwanese actress Joan Lin and his son JC, Chan immediately distanced himself from Elaine and the yet-to-be-born Etta. As a consequence, Etta grew up without her biological father's presence, or even his surname. Over the years, the hardship of Etta's life became evident. The financial struggles she faced were particularly glaring when juxtaposed against her father's continual success and wealth, with his net worth estimated at around $400 million. In one notable instance, while Chan was confirmed for another multi-million dollar project with Disney, Etta was cited in Toronto lined up for free meals, evidently struggling to make ends meet. Etta, who publicly announced she was a lesbian in 2017, married Canadian social media influencer Andy Autumn in 2018. Despite having found a loving and committed partnership, their financial woes persisted. Not long after tying the knot, the couple were reported to have been homeless and sleeping under a bridge due to alleged homophobia from their parents. The couple was also seen in a supermarket on CCTV footage, with Etta expressing a desire to find her dad. Despite Chan's fortune, no financial aid seems to have been extended to Etta or her mother. Although there were suggestions Chan might financially assist Etta when she turned 21, it's unclear whether this ever transpired. On his part, Chan, when asked about supporting Etta financially, dismissed the issue, stating he believed she didn't need his inheritance. Further, Chan has publicly stated that he plans to donate his wealth to charity rather than pass it on to his son, JC. While JC has enjoyed a life of luxury, Etta's experiences are starkly different. This seemingly unjust discrepancy has stirred considerable public criticism, with social media users expressing their disappointment at her parents' lack of support. Yet amidst the criticism and hardship, Etta continues to brave her struggles, a timely reminder that not all celebrity children lead lives of privilege. Chan's Shocking New Film 
Jackie Chan's latest film, Ride On, offers a poignant scene that gives an apparent paradoxical glimpse into his personal life. In the movie, Chan, playing the character Lao Luo, a former stuntman, shares a tearful moment with his on-screen daughter, Zhao Bao, played by Liu Haokun, as they watch a montage of some of his most memorable stunts from his career. This scene led to a surge of emotional reactions on social media, but also sparked discussions about the actor's real-life relationship with his estranged daughter. When the scene surfaced online without the movie's context, it evoked strong responses from viewers who mistook it for a real-life interaction between Chan and his daughter. This assumption fueled emotional outpourings and shared memories of Chan's enduring contributions to the film industry. But the reality of Chan's relationship with his actual daughter stands in stark contrast to the poignant portrayal of father-daughter bond in the movie. Etta confirmed in 2015 that Chan never existed in her life. Quote, I will never regard him as a father. Moreover, Etta and her wife Andy claimed in 2018 they'd been left homeless due to their homophobic parents, an allegation that further highlights the stark divergence between Chan's on-screen father-daughter relationship and his real-life one. Chan's complicated personal life also extends to his relationship with his son, born from his marriage to Joan Lin. JC's arrest and incarceration for marijuana possession in 2014 marked a downturn in their relationship, especially given Chan's role as China's anti-drug goodwill ambassador since 2009. But they were able to reconcile, albeit not wholly, following JC's stint in prison. The profound irony of Chan's latest movie scene lies in the glaringly uncomfortable contrast it draws with his real-life familial relationships. While the film showcases a touching and supportive father-daughter relationship, Chan's estranged relationship with his daughter Etta and his historically strained relationship with son JC suggest a different reality. Chan feels he failed his son. One of the darker chapters of Jackie Chan's life, the arrest of his son, was a profound blow to the martial artist and actor. Chan has always been an emblem of discipline and resilience in the industry, but his son's past misconduct caused him to question his parenting skills, leading him to consider this incident as a failure on his part. Chan's memoir, Never Grow Up, provides a candid insight into the actor's feelings of guilt and responsibility over his son's conviction. He reveals how his constant absence due to his demanding work schedule contributed to a distant relationship with JC, who grew up fearful of his father. Chan's feelings of guilt intensified when JC was arrested for possession of drugs. The incident sent shockwaves through Hollywood and led to a very public mea culpa from Chan. The action star felt the weight of his son's actions keenly, stating to the media, I failed to teach my son, and I must also bear responsibility. JC and I bowed deeply to apologize to society. Chan was adamant that JC's story should serve as a cautionary tale for other young people. In an act of parental tough love, Chan refrained from visiting his son in prison and intentionally distanced himself from him even after JC's release. Chan's philosophy as a father was heavily influenced by his Asian upbringing, which emphasizes personal responsibility and consequences for one's actions. While he acknowledged he might not have been the ideal father, he viewed himself as a responsible one. Chan didn't believe in shielding JC from the repercussions of his actions. Instead, he encouraged his son to recognize and understand his mistakes before receiving help to rectify them. Despite this stern approach, Chan was quietly supportive of his son through his trials, embodying a tough love approach to parenting. His belief in self-reliance and personal responsibility extended to his financial philosophy. Now well-known and perhaps a touch infamous for his statement about not leaving his wealth to his son, Chan has long been a proponent of earning one's keep and creating personal wealth. The turbulent relationship between Chan and JC has been a cause of intrigue for fans. Their dynamic embodies a blend of discipline, tough love, and silent support. Yet, despite the tumult, Chan's belief in the importance of personal responsibility has remained steadfast, and his handling of JC's misconduct reaffirms his dedication to these principles. There are hopes that Chan will eventually put aside his prejudices and extend his heart to his daughter. As someone with immense influence, reconciling with his daughter could send a powerful message of acceptance, transcending societal norms and challenging outdated stereotypes. Now it's time to hear from you. How has your perception of Jackie Chan changed after knowing more about his personal life? Let us know in the comments section below.